Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course, and in this module we'll be looking at the Cylindrical Gauge by MAQ Software. Now this is a pretty basic visual in that it's really designed to show a one metric value that you have. So if you have one particular metric, kind of like you would put into a card inside of Power BI, you could use the Cylindrical Gauge to be able to show that. You can also control a target, or the uh, overall total of what the gauge can show, with inside the format paintbrush area that we'll take a look at. One thing I would definitely like to see in the future in this one is to have the target value actually be something that can be driven by the data that's not currently there right now, but hopefully that'll be something that will be available sometime in the future. You can also control the visual tick marks that you see on the right hand side. So you can see zero to 100 shown and the, the actual number shown on the bottom of the 50. The tick marks can actually be turned off. If you don't want to show those, you can easily turn those off as well. Uh, like I said, this is designed by MAQ Software. Let's go ahead and take a look at a pretty simple example on how to use the cylindrical gauge. All right, so in the example we're going to be using today, we're going to be pulling in ratings of employees. And basically, these are going to be customer service scores that employees are receiving. And what we'll do is we'll take an average of those scores across multiple years and be able to get a good idea of which of the employees are performing the best. So we're going to start by going up to the Get Data section to pull that data set in for this example. It's going to be coming from Excel, and it's called Ratings by Employee. So we'll select Ratings by Employee, the workbook, and then once we select that, the spreadsheet will pop up here called custom, well that should be customer, but custom service score. So customer service scores here, I'll select and then hit load. Once we load this into the Power BI data model, we'll be able to then import our visual that we want to use for this example. And the visual that we're going to be using again is the cylindrical gauge. You can find that by going up to the top section here where it says custom visuals and selecting from store, or you can hit the ellipses and do that as well. So we'll select from store here. All right, then we'll go search for the gauge that we need for this example. So you could search for the word gauge if you wanted to. You could go kind of scroll through. Let's spell that right at least. And you can find the gauge that you are looking for this example. In this one, we're going to be using the cylindrical gauge. You can see there are several other gauges that are available. In this case, we're going to be using the one on the top here. So we'll hit add. And that'll add that visual now to our visualization pane right here. And we can add that to the design surface here in a moment. But before we do that, let's bring in a few other visuals that we can use to really get an idea of what the data set looks like. So let's start with a basic line chart. I'm going to bring in a line chart here and tell it that I want to see an average of the value. So let's flip this to an average instead of a sum. The average by year. Okay, and we're going to make the year show up on the axes here. Okay, and we'll kind of make this a little larger so we can see the entirety of the values we have. There we go. And then I'd also like to be able to filter by the employee. So I'm going to add in, in the background here, I'll click in the background and select a slicer, and we'll bring in the employees, so that way I can filter based on the employee that we want to evaluate. Now we can also, if we wanted to here, we can increase the text size of the slicer. That's pretty easy to do underneath the Format Paintbrush section under Items. We can bump up the text size just a little bit so it's a little easier to read here. Then finally, we'll bring in our cylindrical gauge. So I'll select somewhere in the background here and click on the gauge to bring that in. And then for the gauge, we'll want to bring in a value. Now, you only really have one item you can bring in here. You can, um, of course, select the ratings. Now, you'll notice immediately here that it's giving us a very large number. That's because it's actually bringing in more than we need. We, rather than bringing in a sum of the ratings, we really want to look at an average of the ratings. So we can switch this from a sum to an average one of two ways. One, we could select the value here, go up to the modeling section here and we can tell it that we want to always average instead of sum. That's one way we can do it. We could also uh, maybe sometimes we want to sum it, sometimes we want to average it. So if that's the case, maybe we want to average it in the cylindrical gauge so we can change the aggregation type just for this one visual if we wanted to by hitting the down arrow next to the value section. I can make it an average and then now that looks a little bit more reasonable for a score. The scores are from 0 to 100 and then I can kind of slice back and forth between the different individuals to see how they score. So it's kind of a nice way to be able to visualize a, a single number here. And then again, I can select and filter based on my particular individual I have selected. So it looks like Sophia overall, sure, her score is 90, but she's really trending down here. It looks like this year so far, she has a score of 69. So she's not doing so hot this year, although the previous year she has done outstanding. And we can kind of see that the 98, 99, 96, and then maybe she just ha is having a bad year for some reason. But we can kind of see that by combining both the cylindrical gauge with something like a line chart, we can really get a good idea of what our values need to be. We could also, if we want to see everyone's score and see an average of all scores, rather than having this selected like this, we could actually make a select all on the slicer that's available in the format paintbrush area for the slicer. But that's not so much of what we want to care, we care about for this example. We really care about the cylindrical gauge for this example. 
So maybe what we want to do is do a few things here. We could select the gauge, go underneath the format paintbrush, and there's a one, only really one section that's devoted to the format paintbrush here for the cylindrical gauge. It's called configurations. And if you go under configurations, you'll see there's a few things you can do. One, you can change the color. So you can change the background color, which is kind of this light gray you see in the background. Or you can see the, uh, that's the border, I should say. Or you can change the fill color. That's what right now is currently in this blue color. We could change it to something like a red if we wanted to, or an orangish kind of color there. You can. Uh, you can also change the min and the max values here. So if I wanted to, I can change the max from 100 to, let's say, 150. You can see it, it immediately impacts the gauge. Uh, but we'll likely leave that at 100 since 100 is our top score we can get. And then really the final thing you can do here, there's not a ton. The final thing you can change here is turning on or off the tick marks that you see on the right-hand side. So if you want to turn off those tick marks, you can do that or you can leave them on. I'd also like to see a few other things in here. Uh, hopefully in the future, you'll have the ability to format the bottom number that you see here and also be nice to be able to have some kind of a label next to it so you know what this is. Now in the meantime, since I don't have a label next to the number, I could change the label of the title here. So I could go down to the title section and I can change this and maybe uh, bump up the text size some so we can see what it is, maybe center it, and then maybe give it some kind of a better name. Let's say this is uh, ratings. Maybe we're just gonna call it ratings, make it simple. We could change the color to that to be black so it's really clear on what we're looking at here. So pretty nice, uh, simple visual, very simple, but a nice one to have in here. You can adjust it, of course, and see that it does uh, proportionally change with the way that you drag the design surface. But uh, that's really it for the cylindrical gauge. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this simple, short little tutorial. And look forward to showing you our next visual and our next example.